Problem 32. In a random sample of 500 people aged 20 to 24, 22% were smokers. In a random sample of 450 people aged 25 to 29, 14% were smokers. Looks like we have two samples in this problem. We want a 95% confidence interval for the difference between the population proportion of 20 to 24 year olds that are smokers and 25 to 29 year olds that are smokers. Okay, so it looks like we have a confidence interval for the difference between proportions. So first we have the data set 20 to 24, and then we have the data set for the 25 to 29 year olds. So two different samples. So in a random sample of 500, that's going to be the sample size. That's n sub 1. It says that 22% were smokers. So in this case, success is being a smoker. We always have to find n and x in these problems. So to find um, x, it's going to be 22% of 500. Remember, of means multiplying mathematics. So 22% times 500. Whoops. Type it in my calculator. 22% times 500. So 110. So x sub 1 is equal to 110. And then for the 25 to 29 year olds, uh, looks like it's a sample of 450 people. So that'll be n sub 2. And this time 14% were smokers. So it'll be 0.14 times 450. So 14% of 450. So this time it's only 63. So x sub 2 is 63. All right, and then we want a 95% confidence interval for the difference between the proportions. Okay, so all we do now is go to StatCrunch and plug all the numbers in, and we should have the answer. So let's open StatCrunch. We go to, let me slide this over, here we go. So stat, proportion stats. It's two sample because we have two samples, and it's always with summary for these types of problems, for these confidence interval problems for proportions we typically use with summary. Let's see, successes is 110, and then observations is 500. And then here successes is 63, and then um, observations is 450. And this is a confidence interval, so we want to make sure we click on confidence interval. The level is 95%, so we leave it at 0.95. Everything looks good. Let me just double check. So 110, 500, 63, 450. Confidence level is good to go. Click compute. And there it is. There's our confidence interval. So the lower limit is 0 0.03156. So 0 0.03156. And the upper limit is 0.1284. Four, uh, four, I guess, just rounding to a couple decimal places. It's always lower and upper um, for confidence intervals. And this is a multiple choice question. So it looks like choice B would be the correct choice, right? So B in this case is the answer. I hope that helped.